Along with the mail, tonight I'm uh, sampling Winnipeg Brew Works Dunkel. I apologize to uh, German viewers for the mispronunciation. Um, a locally crafted German style dark lager. A multi smooth hint of cocoa and balanced with hops and a crisp, clear finish. That's a little hoppier than I'm used to, um, but it's it's pretty darn good. Uh, so, first mail item in. Doesn't say what it is. Okay, fine. I'll just have to uh, figure it out the old-fashioned way. It is a bunch of TO220 devices. Power transistor type things of some sort, probably. Ah, it's an LM317. That makes it an adjustable voltage regulator. Okay. And it looks like I got 10 of them. New 10 pieces. LM317T, LM317 voltage regulator IC. 1.2 volts to 37 volts. 1.5 amps low dropout power supply. Uh, I got these from PLC Accessories. Currently they're selling them for $1.19 Canadian. I happened to get them for 99 cents they were on sale a while back there's really not that much to say about these these are just a, a standard linear rec regulator but it's uh, instead of having a fixed output it's got an adjustable output yeah these these are just good in old school uh, power supplies but there is a way to use these as a constant current source and i want to try that as a driver for high powered leds yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Not super malty, but uh, pretty nice nonetheless. This is expansion board module. Hmm. It's a USB module specifically. USB on one side and screw terminals on the other side. I think... I think I remember ordering something like this. I think it is a USB to serial driver of some kind uh rs485 something like that ch340 usb to rs485 485 converter adapter module 4 win 7 slash linux slash xp slash vista i'm hoping it works on linux uh, i got this from module fans for dollar 39 but i'm pretty sure i didn't pay shipping and uh you can see here they've updated the listing so that's probably what's going on there anyway that's not important what is important is that it's a uh, oh it's not actually a CH340 CH341 it's using a this PL2303 despite what it says up on the top of the listing yeah so working distance up to 1.2 kilometers that's uh, kind of why I was looking at this it's used for a lot of um, industrial kind of control and RS-485 is also the protocol that uh, the DMX-512 lighting protocol is built on top of. So that's uh, that's the real reason I got this. I want to play with that. And I've also got some uh, Arduino RS-485 uh, breakout modules as well. So things like that. Oh! I didn't know that. Oh. Is off an RS-485. Okay, it may not be. I'll have to uh, check with that. Hmm. Anyway, like I said, I've got these uh, Max-485 modules for Arduino that also speak RS-485, so I should theoretically be able to send serial data over fairly great distances to uh, uh, between Arduinos and each other or to the computer. Next in, let's take a look at this box. It's got two things in it. It claims to have a plastic sheet and one modules. What do we got here? That looks like an OLED and oh, <laughs> a kit that I've been waiting for. A little Santa kit. Okay. Let's uh, take a quick peek at him first. Obviously, I'm going to be building this during uh, during the week of Christmas, so you can look forward to, to that video. So what's going on in here? There looks like there's a little 8-pin chip and a battery holder. 
a few resistors and a transistor. And what do we got in here? Ooh, little speaker thing. There's the battery holder and the resistors. Wow, there's a dead bug. Seriously, guys? What are you? You're a little STC-15F-104 microcontroller. I hope it still works after the abuse it's been through in the mail. We'll have to find out. Anyway, and there is transistor and a couple of uh, four pin RGB LEDs. Okay. DIY Santa Claus Christmas tree decoration pendant music kit Easy Make US. Uh, got it from DIY Electronic. I paid $3.83, which may be a little bit more than this thing really ought to cost, but. It looks like fun, so, you know, why not live a little? Seven different Christmas songs, seven full-color LED gradient effects, switch powers up, and automatically to switch different modes and songs. All off one switch? Oh, that's cool. Uh, powered by two CR2032, so, okay, I've got those kicking around here. Uh, dip for easy soldering? Sure. And it's actually got step-by-step -step instructions. Huh, that's cool. Don't know that I'm going to need that. All right, I can also run it just off straight up five volts. But if you're going to use it as a Christmas tree ornament, you're going to want batteries. Right. And the other thing in there was a little, looks like an OLED screen or something. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Just a little display. And I'll leave that on there for now. And what's it got for pins on the back of it there to talk to it? VCC and ground, SCL and SDA. Okay, well that's a fairly standard uh, interface. Should have no trouble talking to it. 0 0.96 inch I2C IIC serial 168 by 64 OLED LCD display module for Arduino White. Um, I got this for $2.30 Canadian at auction from DIY Electronic. And as you can see up here, they do go for a fair bit more than that in Canadian dollars. So that's reasonable enough. Fully compatible with Arduino, STM, etc, etc. Low power consumption, 0 0.08 watts. Super bright, I2C, yeah, uh, we saw that three to five volts okay so it can also work on esps probably or anything else that runs at three volts sure very wide range of temperatures 26 and three quarters by 19 millimeters or or basically one by three quarters of an inch the fourth package is another expansion board module hmm Ooh, some kind of RF. See the little antenna there? So you got a TX and an RX and a ground VCC enable and a state. Uh, it can run between 3.6 and 6 volts. And the data pins level is 3.3 volts. Hmm, is that some kind of a, oh, it's got a little reset switch there. I don't see any markings on those chips. That's not quite the same frequency as ESP8266, I don't think. Yeah, the antenna geometry is a little bit different. Although, you know, RF is kind of magic, so they could be. But I'm thinking that this is probably a Bluetooth module. Wireless serial six pin Bluetooth RF transceiver module HC05 RS232 a master slave got this from Alice 110 1983 uh, I paid $4.38 for it and I did not pay any shipping again it's been updated by the seller so I'm guessing that they probably are running out of stock or they don't want to sell it anymore or something so they just put this stupid, uh, I'll, I'll put a link to this one, but uh, you can search for related ones if you'd like to order something like this from somebody else. 
who's not raping you on shipping. Yeah, like any of these people. So here it says working voltage 3.3 volts. Uh, default uh, baud rate 9600. Um, I'm going to have to look this up on a more sane website when I go to use it. No automatically prevent power supply perversing function. Uh, this state is output foot for Yeah. That's not even slightly useful information. But the important part is it's a Bluetooth serial module. So I can send serial data from a phone app to a device, uh, serial data or serial commands or stuff like that. Okay, the last thing for today is one tubing. <laughs> it's more than one, I can tell you that. Is this, oh, this is an assortment of heat shrink tubing, okay. Bunch of different sizes, uh, from fairly big ones down to relatively small ones. Okay, what do we got here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven different sizes. Right, uh, does it say on them what sizes they are? No, it probably will on the listing though. Um, kind of wish they were in longer sections rather than cut up like that, but I guess that'll work. 70 pieces set black two to one heat shrink tubing assorted cable wire sleeve combo DIY kit. Uh, I got this from uh, a top authentic auction and yeah, I bought it at auction for $1.44. They've currently got an auction running right now for $1.31. Although I think this one will be done by the time you see this video, but I will put a link to it anyway, and you can uh, use related searches to find what you're really looking for. Uh, so yeah, here's the different sizes that are in the kit, two millimeter, two and a half, three and a half, five, seven, ten, and thirteen millimeter in various different quantities. So that's a good variety. I've already got some heat shrink, um, but what I've got is long pieces and only a few different sizes. So it's good to have an assortment of sizes just for general workshop stock. And there is today's Mailbag Monday assortment. As usual, a wide variety of things. This time it's more bits and pieces to make stuff out of uh, rather than complete things. But um, this kit's going to be fun and uh, you can expect to see that thing happening sometime in the next week or so, obviously around Christmas time. Um, so Santa and the OLED took 30 days to get here. And just in time, too. Uh, the USB to RS-45 adapter took one month as well these lm317 voltage regulators took 15 days wow the heat shrink also took 15 days to get here and the bluetooth module took about four and a half weeks yeah that was fun um thanks as always for watching uh, i think i've got one more mailbag monday in my december month of mailbag mondays and then i'll go back to my normal every second week schedule with these things um, before I run out of stuff in my mail buffer. Um, thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me fund all this um, and keep the mailbags rolling in and just generally for being awesome people. I appreciate that help. Um, everybody else, yeah, comments, questions down below as usual. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you later.